Here we are at the beautiful Yas Marina circuit where qualifying is about to begin. So sit back, relax and enjoy the action. Hi guys, this is Command Trip here. Welcome to the F1 2016 Cream today. And we're doing the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix today. And it's the final round of the season one of this crew mode. And here we are for, at the beautiful Yas Marina circuit in Abu Dhabi, as Crofty said earlier. Here we are with our teammate Roman Grosjean coming into the last two corners. What can he set as a lap now? As he comes into the last corner, comes across the line, and he sets a 141.3, and obviously the first time to be set is Roman Grosjean. And now Daniel Ricciardo now comes around into the last two corners. <coughs> what can he do as he comes into the final corner now? He's going to be a few tenths faster than Grosjean for sure. On board with him as he comes across the line. The one forty point seven. So it's third fastest for Ricardo, and it's actually six tenths faster than Grosjean. So Hamilton on provisional pole at the moment. We haven't set a time. But we're going to now as we come out of the pit lane for our first run. Coming under the tunnel now for our first run. Out of the pit lane. And up the hill. I sort of like this pit lane. I sort of don't like this pit lane. I don't know uh, what's it like. What to just like about it. Um, now coming into the chicane there. And on, this is still our outlap. <coughs> now, onto the straight. And now into the end of our first lap. Here we are, um, coming into the penultimate corner. What are we going to do here on our first lap? And now coming into the final corner. Uh, third gear, fourth, up to fourth. And we come across the line with a 141.2 to the tenth fastest, which is uh, one second off the pace. Not ideal, to be honest. Uh, not really great pace from us, but now on our second lap, on the same set of tyres, unfortunately, um, coming across the line with a half a second improvement. That puts us in fifth fastest with a 140.7. It's not too bad, um, considering our pace is track. <clears throat> it's not that great. Um, there is only one game we're in fastest track, and that's in 2017. Because, yeah, I'm faster than every track in 2017. Anyway, yeah, apparently I am. Anyway, um, coming out of the pit lane behind the Force India of Sergio Perez. And he lets us through on a lap there, so let's see where we can be in this qualifying session. A yellow flag for some reason there. And now into the final few corners now. What can we do? This is the start of our final lap of this qualifying session. <coughs> into the final corner we go. What can we do on our lap here? As we start the lap now, onto the pit straight we go. Coming down towards turn one. Breaking into third gear. Into turn one, hit the apex, up to fourth. And we go a few hundreds up. And now flat out through turn two and through turn three, breaking to fifth gear, not quite there, but now into the chicane, breaking down into second gear, hitting both apexes nicely, hitting the first one a bit too high there might be there, and now into the hairpin now, breaking down to first gear, up to second gear, and up to third at the exit of the corner, two tenths up, as we head down onto the straight, and we deploy the DRS as we come onto the straight. Um, we are three tenths up on our lap, coming now into the chicane, Breaking down into second gear. The first gear, in fact. Now into the chicane. Don't hit the curb on the inside, otherwise, you will go on two wheels and lose a lot of time. And now coming onto the, the second straight, and then the second DRS zone. Coming down towards the third chicane. You're braking very hard into the, second, into the third chicane. Second gear. Hitting both of their, uh, blah, 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 blah. Hitting both those apexes and corner cutting that chicane just then. But now onto this corner, we have two flat out right handers, a double right hander. And now braking very hard into the second gear. And now coming into the hotel section, we are six tenths up, half a second. This is, an, this is a brilliant lap. Now coming onto the 
the last two corners where we're going to be for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Here we go into the last two corners. He's in the curb nicely. Final corner, seven tenths up, and we across the line, and we get pole. We have got pole position. No way. We have got pole position out of absolutely nowhere. And with a seven tenths improvement, we grab pole away from Vettel by five hundredths of a second. That is the most the unexpected event. poll we could ever for the imagine. Tomorrow, so make sure you join us there. As we get pole position by 500s from Sebastian Vettel, then Q Raikkonen, and then Lewis Hamilton fourth. <laughs> then we have Nico Rosberg, then Daniel Ricciardo, Roman Grosjean, Max Verstappen, Valtteri Bottas, Nico Hülkenberg, Felipe Massa, Sergio Perez in twelfth. Um, Quite a close top 12, 9 10 separated between the top 12. Um, that's not bad. 13th is Daniel Kiviet. Then we have um, yeah, Carlos Sainz and Fernando Alonso, Jensen Button, Felipe Nasa, Marcus Ericsson, Pascal Verlaine, Rio Harriento, Kevin Magnussen, and Jolyon Palmer in last on the grid. Rio Harriento has a 5 place grid penalty, so he will be starting last for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. And, well, that was, a, that was a very, very shocking pole position for us here in the finale of Season 1. So here are our resource points after the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix qualifying. Expected position was 8th, which is what we were going to get. But we overachieved by 7 positions within a, a shocking pole position. We have 4,050 resource points now. As we get 84 for the total weekend. In our rivalry with Nico Rosberg, um, we beat him quite fairly and square there without pole position, obviously. So that was a nice lap. I'm going to probably upload that lap, just like all other pole laps. Um, anyway, um, we are still overachieving. We will most likely get that achievement on the game for having 75% of the achievement, so. Let's go now to the race for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Darkness is descending on Abu Dhabi this evening, but there's no thought of rest for the 11 teams working feverishly on the grid. The lights are on and we prepare to go racing one final time. We've seen some magical moments in this race since its debut in 2009. Can it put us under its spell once more? The drivers will be racing here on Yaz Island today through 21 corners and a lap distance of around 3.4 miles. There are plenty of opportunities to pass with long straights and DRS zones in two places, at turns 8 and at turn 11. Plenty of close racing then, plenty of speed and plenty of drama to be found in the laps to come. Alongside me for one final time this season, it's Anthony Davidson. What a year it's been, Ant. It's been an absolute pleasure. And now, how are you feeling ahead of Lights Out tonight? Well, it's been a breathtaking year of F1 action. And there's one more sting in the tail to come here tonight, I reckon. We've been all around the world, but there's still everything to fight for. And what an occasion it is as well. There's a real sense of anticipation every time we come here to Abu Dhabi. And here's hoping it's a fitting end to a very special season. You've done well to put it on pole, but we've still got work to do. Trying to cover the inside line off the start. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. So here we are on the grid for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, the finale of Season 1 of this F1 2016 crew mode. We're going to start on the ultra soft tyres and we're going to end on the softs for some unknown reason. I think we should change that uh, strategy. Do you want to be honest with you? Um, because I'm not look, I'm not liking the look of that strategy. So, <clears throat> so make the ultra softs run, run a bit longer. Then they go to the super softs for the last stint. So just edited that strategy just a bit. And yeah, that's fine, absolutely fine. Now, um, we start from pole position in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. It was a very, very shocking pole position. Uh, because we were ninth place 
before we grab the pole position so um, we weren't looking on the pace to grab pole so um, anyway um, I don't know what we're doing right now we're just pff, I should have cut this part out to be honest I accidentally added a third stint there which is what I was not going to do and we go starting the race and the formation lap here in Abu Dhabi uh, we don't get the greatest of starts on the formation lap uh, as we have Vettel, Hamilton and Rosberg getting past us. Um, so not a great start to the formation lap. Despite that, uh, we are still says we are on pole so got past Rosberg and we got past Hamilton and of course we got past Vettel as well. Here we are in the end of the middle sector leading on the formation lap let's hope this finale can be a good one to end off the seat to finish the season off on a high for us and for everyone else in the championship so here we are lining up on the grid for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix look how far ahead I am of everyone else I don't know why I'm so far ahead <coughs> here we go lining up on our grid slot and you can see Sebastian Vettel uh, there on the left and Lewis Hamilton right behind us and Rosberg in fourth we have Grosjean P6, Ricardo P5 and here we are for the start of the finale of F1 2016 Kumo Season 1 and it's now away we go for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and we get a very good start there. Vettel gets an absolutely terrible start and he comes towards turn one and Hamilton's trying to get him as they are side by side. Hamilton takes a position away from Sebastian Vettel. Hamilton gets second and Vettel drops down to third so that's a Mercedes <coughs> grabbing the position away from Vettel on lap one. Hamilton has grabbed it away but now as we head down towards the hairpin here comes Hamilton to the outside Vettel comes back on the inside. Is he going? Is he going to get Hamilton back? <coughs> He's trying to, but now onto the straight. Hamilton and Vettel are side by side, heading down towards the second sector. Here we go. Vettel is slipstream on me. Let's head down to turn into the chicane. Vettel goes to the inside of us, heading into the chicane. And does he take the lead? No, he doesn't. We hold it around the outside, and uh, we keep the lead of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Vettel retakes second place <clears throat> as now Vettel challenges us coming down towards the next chicane on the outside can, can he get us? No he can't so we do keep the lead Hamilton comes back on the inside though and retakes second place so it's a great battle between Hamilton and Vettel on the first lap and Hamilton retakes second and now onto the onto lap 2 of the Sabu Dhabi Grand Prix what can Hamilton do as he comes onto the straight? <clears throat> he has slipstream on us. He comes to the inside of us. Yes, he does come to the inside of us. He is going side by side with us as we head down into the chicane. And he doesn't quite get us because he doesn't quite have the straight line speed to match us. Here we go into the chicane now. Hamilton has... We've got some very bad traction there. Hamilton is trying to look to get us now. Coming down into the chicane. He touches us a bit there, but it's still not fast enough to get past us. And now Hamilton goes to the inside. Is he going to get us? We're side by side, but there's more contact. But we still hold on to the lead of this Grand Prix. So lap two, and we're holding on to the lead of this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Okay, and now onto lap three. Can Hamilton get us again onto the straight? That's a big question now. <clears throat> All the same set of tyres, of course, ultras, ultra softs. And now here we go. Here comes Hamilton. DRS is now available because it's lap 3 now. Hamilton goes to the inside of us as we head down into the chicane. We are side by side heading down this corner. There was a bit of contact there. Vettel goes to the inside of us as we come down into the chicane. Hamilton locks up slightly. But now we're side by side heading into this corner. And we are wheel to wheel. Are we gonna, is Hamilton going to get us? Yes he is. Hamilton takes the lead but now Vettel goes to the outside of us. Coming down to this corner now Ricardo challenges as well. It's now going to be four wide. Let's head down to this corner. We go on the inside of Hamilton. Coming into this chicane. And we keep third place. 
what a battle on these first few laps here in the finale in Abu Dhabi. This is a great end to the season as Vessel takes the lead from Daniel Ricciardo in second place. As we come up the inside of Ricciardo and almost on the inside of Vessel, we don't quite get Sebastian Vettel there. We go up the inside of Ricciardo though and we move up into second place. What an eventful first few laps we have had here in Abu Dhabi. Holkenberg sets the fastest lap of the race because I can tell you that he crashed on the first lap and he got fresh tyres on. Ricardo uses the DRS to get past us and he takes the lead. We're now going to go back on the inside of him as we come into the chicane. Hamilton takes second place again. He hit the kerb. And there's an absolute train here. Absolute train. Hamilton's going to take second because he's got better straight line speed. And he's got the slip stream on me, so what can Hamilton do now? Heading down into the chicane. Lap 4 of this Grand Prix. Now coming into the last two corners. What can we do? And we're still in this race as we head into the pits for our first and only pit stop. Maybe our final pit stop of the season here in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Maybe it might be our final pit stop. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> here we go. Coming into the pits now for a set of super soft tyres. No, in fact, a set of soft tyres. Um, so a strategy that we did change to actually uh, was not uh, right. We actually didn't. Uh, I don't know why I should put on some soft tyres, even though I say super softs. Anyway, uh, we're on soft tyres anyway, and we're coming out of the pits now, side by side with the McLaren of Fernando Alonso. So Jensen Button, and we come on the inside of him. Are we going to get him? No, Jensen Button uh, gets out ahead of us there. We're now going to go onto the inside. And now Hamilton's going to try and get us, uh, coming into the straight. Uh, Jensen Button uh, has got past us out of the pits, but now Hamilton uses DRS to try and get past us, coming down towards the chicane. He's going side by side with us, coming down towards the chicane. And he goes on the inside, he has the inside line. We're going to hold it around the outside, and we keep P17. And now, here we go, substreaming Jensen Button as we come down onto the second straight. We use DRS and Rich Mix and Slipstream to go on the inside of Jensen Button and we speed past him and we go up into 16th place. Very easy move between our Ferrari powered Haas and the Honda powered McLaren. Uh, pretty uh, not evenly matched there. The McLaren quite slow on the straight of course because we know Honda and their straight line speed. Um, on lap 5 now, beginning lap 6, Vettel sets the fastest up. I think it was a 145 there. As uh, we uh, come out in 10th or 9th place, just behind Felipe Mesa, so we gained a couple of places there. I think we've gone from 16th to 9th, so not bad there. This is a decent race for the final race of the season. And now on to lap 7 of this Grand Prix. What can we do with Felipe Mesa? We're very close to him. Vettel sets the fastest lap of 143.3, and we set the fastest lap. 142.6 so pretty decent lap there from us as we get the fastest lap of this race on so lap 8 or well, lap 7 but uh, beginning of lap 8 here is Fernando Alonso and behind Kevin Magnussen and Alonso has got an engine failure typical uh, typical Honda engine and that sends him to the side of the track at turn 1 uh, Alonso is out of the race that is the final retirement and it's a safety car the safety car has been deployed on lap 8 of this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. It's a, a thrilling climax to the end of the season. As you have a safety car about to decide a race. Is that going to happen? We go into 5th. Down to 5th. Up into 4th. Yes, this is going to be at least a podium. This is a podium. We are into 3rd now. So everyone's pitted behind the safety car. And we didn't need to pit because we're on the slower tyre. And we are up into third place at the moment. Not bad for us. This is going to be a nice climax to the end of the season. As now we head and Kvyat heads into the pits. So we're going to be in second. So in fact we're actually going to have a chance to win this race. On the last few laps of this season. Are we going to get Sebastian Vettel? ahead of us. 
it's going to be a showdown to the finish in the final few laps of season one. Who is going to win this Grand Prix? Who's your money on? Is it going to be Vettel? Is it going to be me? Or is it going to, Hamil is it going to be Hamilton? Who knows what's going to happen in these last four laps of this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Here we go. The safety car is coming in to slap on lap 11 of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. We have got four laps, so three laps, to sprint to the finish now. We've got a three lap sprint to the finish and we go absolutely flat out. If we restart the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and we go to the last few laps of the season, we are right behind Vettel as we head down into the final corners. <clears throat> here we go. What can we do to him here? Vettel leads this race. We are in second. Hamilton third. Then we have Sergio Perez up in fourth place. Then we have Kimi Raikkonen in fifth. There's a Kvyat in fifth. Then we have Kimi Raikkonen in sixth. Then we have the Red Bull in seventh. As Vettel still leads, heading down towards the chicane and, and the end of the first sector. We are six tenths behind him. On lap 12, DRS is not available yet until the end of lap 14, which is the last lap of the race. So we will get DRS on the last lap of this Grand Prix and the last lap of the season. What is going to happen here? We are going to get some slipstream on Sebastian Vettel heading down towards the chicane. This is going to be a tense last few laps. And we're going to go up the inside of Vettel coming into the chicane. Are we going to get him on this last on the lap 12 of this race? We have three laps to go. No one didn't quite there as Vettel at the inside line. But now we're going to slipstream him again coming down towards the next chicane. I'm going to get to the outside of the inside. I'm going to switch to the inside. Heading into this corner, we've overshot it completely. And Vettel retakes the lead of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. This is a very good battle on the last few laps of this race. Who is going to win this race? <clears throat> Hamilton, of course, on the super soft tyres. Lap 13 now of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Two laps remaining. The battle for the lead is still on between myself and Sebastian Vettel. But Hamilton is looking very good there on those super softs, fresh super softs. But uh, we are going to try and take the lead away from Vettel here. Um, are we going to do it on the final lap of this race? This is very, very tense on the last few laps of season one of this career mode. Are we going to get Sebastian Vettel? It's come right down to the wire, the championship. Come right down, right down to the wire between Hamilton and Rosberg, and it's also come right down to the wire between the battle for the lead. A safety car has made it more exciting, and now as we move on to the final lap, we're right behind Sebastian Vettel heading down into this corner. What are we going to do on this lap? We have DRS available at the end of, uh, onto the beginning of the straight. Here we go. What can we do to Sebastian Vettel heading down onto the straight? DRS is open for us. Are we going to get Sebastian Vettel coming down into the chicane? Here we go, slip streaming him. We are close enough to go up the inside. Are we going to get Vettel here? Oh, not quite there. But Vettel holds the inside. <clears throat> and we go switching back to the, out, in, to the outside now. As we head down into the second chicane, we have DRS available. We pull out to the outside of Sebastian Vettel. And we do take the lead of this race. And we're going to go around the outside. We're going to go side by side through this corner. And we do take the lead of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix on the final lap of the race. Unbelievable. What, <clears throat> what a turnaround that was. We were down into, we were down in the midfield. And now after the safety car, we have taken the lead on the last lap of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Vettel has uh, disappeared off into the distance somewhere. As uh, Vettel actually hits the curb and half spins. So that's actually let us pull out a gap. And we are going to win the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. So the DRS was available. I don't, I'm not sure if this is my fault or not. But we went, we went for it. I was ahead. I was actually ahead in the braking zone there. Vettel half spun. And Hamilton just stopped for some odd reason. If I was Hamilton's AI, I would have gone into second place. But now... On the last few corners of season one, here we go. Around the last two corners, it's been a thrilling climax to the season as we come into the final corner to win the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and to finish off the season with a final for the final high, and we win our second ever race in this career mode in the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. 
what a thrilling climax to the season. As we have Nico Rosberg as the driver's world champion. Very good, very much congratulations to him. It was decided not, uh, uh, sometimes Hamilton took the lead over him. Well, Hamilton had a few poor results. And yep, we, we saw Rosberg obviously getting crushed out in Germany. He's changed it around a bit. But he still won the championship anyway because uh, Hamilton did not do too well in the last few races. So we win our second Grand Prix of the season and our second Grand Prix in this career mode, second race. After winning in Suzuka, also from pole position, we win in Abu Dhabi in a thrilling climax to the season. It's hard to As believe. we win, Just how competitive they've already become. Uh, unbelievably there, victory. so that's two wins for us and uh, four poles to end off our season. We got four poles. Um, we had them in Monaco, Japan, Brazil, and Abu Dhabi. Four pole positions and two wins. Not a bad result. Not a bad and not a bad first season for us. <coughs> we move on to the results of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. We win by 2.3 seconds from Sebastian Vettel in second place, Lewis Hamilton third, then we have Sergio Perez in fourth, Carlos Sainz in fifth, then Felipe Nasser in sixth, getting Sauber's first points of the season, Kimi Raikkonen in seventh, Nico Rosberg down to eighth place, Roman Grosjean in ninth, then Felipe Massa in tenth, Marcus Ericsson, Rio Harrianto, Pascal Verlein, Valtteri Bottas, Max Verstappen in fifteenth, then we have Kevin Magnussen. Then we have <coughs> Nico Hulkenberg in 17th. Daniel Kvyat, Jensen Button, Jolene Palmer, Daniel Ricciardo, and Fernando Alonso were the two DNFs of the race. Fernando Alonso obviously causing the safety car, and Ricciardo was actually involved in the incident this on the last the lap. Championship. Here's how things look in the drivers' table. Well, the lead at the top has come down after a poor result for our points leader. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? I'm going for someone who really punched above their weight here today, and that's Felipe Nasser. He was fantastically quick through the whole Grand Prix. It may already be wrapped up, but let's look at the constructors' standings. We saw a dip in form from the championship leaders today. Their lead has taken a significant blow. Another team that will be satisfied with this Grand Prix is Salva, whose good result moves them further up the championship. That's it for today's Grand Prix, and from Antonai, it's goodbye, and see you again next time. So the results of the Drivers' Championship, Rosberg wins the championship by eight points from Lewis Hamilton in second place. We finish in third in the championship, not a bad result for us. Then we have Sebastian Vettel fourth, who moved up ahead of Kimi Raikkonen in fifth, then Bottas in sixth, then Ricciardo, then Verstappen, Grosjean ninth, Perez tenth, Massa eleventh, Hülkenberg in twelfth. Then we have Jensen Button and Carlos Sainz who moves up to 14th after his 5th place finish uh, which is pretty decent there we have Fernando Alonso, Daniel Kvyat, Felipe Nasser getting Sauber's first points of the season Kevin Magnussen um, in 18th Rio Harrianto and Pascal Verlein, Marcus Ericsson and Julian Palmer were the only drivers not to score points in this season Onto the constructors, Mercedes win by 262 points. Jesus Christ. From Ferrari in second, Haas in third. Move up to third, Red Bull in fourth, Williams fifth, Force India sixth, McLaren seventh, Toro Rosso eighth, Renault ninth, Sauber tenth, and Mana in eleventh. Every team scored points this season. So what a season. What an Abu Dhabi Grand Prix that was. Especially the last lap and the last few laps after the safety car. It was going to be an exciting sprint to the finish. And a thrilling climax of the season, and it indeed was. With a brilliant pass around the outside from us and Vettel. Maybe a little bit risky, uh, considering Vettel spun in the last sector there. But we get 103 resource points to end up with 4,153. <coughs> um, but with our number one driver bonus, we get an extra 73 points. 73 resource points, and we get 4,000. 226 by the end of the season. In the rivalry update, we um, uh, lead the rivalry still by uh, 
well, huge margin, we're going to win anyway probably, and we're overachieving still. So, what a season this has been for season one. Season two, I will still uh, do, I'll do a season two of course. Um, it, later on in the video, I will reveal my team decision for that season. Um, we have 99,798 points for the season. End of season, dear combined, we are delighted to announce that your performance has been above our expectations and you finished third in the Drivers' Championship. You and your teammate Roman Grosjean also amass enough points for us to rank third in the Constructors' standings. We look forward to progressing even further next season. Now take some time to relax, you've earned it. Haas F1 team. So, we have got third in the Drivers and third in the Constructors with those last two results. Hi. Here is our contract it's event. News. You certainly seem to be attracting some attention. These papers arrived on my desk this morning. How do you feel about new surroundings? How do I feel about new surroundings? Uh, in, in, real, in real life, not good. But <laughs> anyway, um, uh, switch team. We have the option of staying with Haas or going to Mercedes, Williams or Red Bull. Now, about this, uh, Red Bull didn't really see a point in joining them considering Haas is a Ferrari-owned team. Mercedes, I didn't want to be dominant too early, so I didn't want to join them. And Williams, well, I don't know. I could have joined Williams for Season 2, but I just decided to stay with Haas to keep their development going. So, for Season 2, we will stay with Haas. Great. And maybe I'll pass these on. we will uh, move team into mid-season or into season three we can move to Ferrari or a different team anyway that was the end of season one I uh, hope you enjoyed it uh, season two we'll be staying with Haas and just to let you know that that won't be coming up for a while because uh, <coughs> ever since this race ended my profile well my, uh, my game crashed on a save point and the game corrupted my profile, my profile corrupted, so it's going to actually be very different to what it is this season, so um, you'll find out what happens. Uh, it's actually going to be a very different season to what it is this season in terms of performance, because there's a couple of teams that are faster than what they usually are. So anyway, that's an unfortunate thing to announce, uh, but uh, I'll get there quickly. See you guys on my next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and click the bell button for notifications, and goodbye.